Hi, everyone. Miss Jean here. Do you like to pray? Do you have a special time or even a place that you pray? Well, I like to pray in the morning while I read my Bible and I journal. But, you know, that's not the only place or the time that I pray. I talk to God all day long. And Nora has something that she really wants to pray about, but she's a little unsure about just how to talk to God about it. She's walking over to the Harmony Corner Church. Maybe she'll find some prayer help there. Let's join her and find out in today's mini-adventure called As a Friend. Let's see, what did Pastor Peabody say again? Love and something. I can't remember. Oh, hi, Nora. Hi, Harold. Is your dad inside the church? Nah, I'm waiting out here for him. Oh, that's too bad. Do you want to wait with me here on the steps? My dad should be here pretty soon. I guess I could. I just... I have an urgent problem. Okay, well, you can borrow my phone and call your mom if you want. No, this is a pastor problem. Oh, okay. Harold, your dad's the pastor, right? Uh, yeah, I know. So you must know all his sermons, right? Uh, sure. So in church this week, your dad talked about prayer. Did he? Harold, were you not listening to your own father's sermon? Well, sort of. Uh, Never mind that. What's on your paper? I was making notes on how to pray. The first step is to tell God how you feel about him. Uh, like how? You know, you praise God because you love him. That's a good start. Then what? Well, I didn't write it down, so I can't remember. Well, what's the next part after that one? Thanksgiving. Like the dinner? (laughs) No, Harold. Like telling God what you're thankful for. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. And then the last part is to ask God for what you need. Oh, yeah. I remember that part. There's another thing that goes with it, though. To believe that God hears you. That's right. Ask and believe. So, Harold... What's the one thing I'm missing? Let's see. Praise God, then something, then Thanksgiving. Ask and believe. Hmm. I drew little circles. See that? Little circles. Uh, Those look like grapes. They're not grapes. Oh, they're bubbles. Like dish bubbles. That's it. Come clean. Oh, yeah. Tell God what you're sorry about. Yeah, and that you don't want to make the same mistakes or sins again. That's, uh, wait. I'll get it. Uh, repentance. Harold, we remembered. There you go. Problem solved. Sort of, but I still don't know how to pray about this thing I really need to pray about. I mean, it's talking to God. Hmm. Chaplain Jake read us a book once that said prayer is like talking to God as to a friend. Oh, really? I can talk to friends super easy. Yeah, you can. Huh, that makes it better. Good. Problem solved. Well, not exactly. Ah, so what's the problem? Well, are there certain words I need to say in a certain order? Uh, I don't think so. But, hey, you know, let's find out from an expert. Your dad's here? No, I mean the Bible. Let me look it up on my Bible app here on my phone. What are you searching for, Harold? Matthew... Our father... There it is. Look. Oh, this is Jesus talking. I can tell because the letters are red. Yep. Jesus gave his disciples advice on how to pray. Oh, let's read it. And when you pray... You shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray... Go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Harold, Jesus said that we should pray in our room secretly. I think Jesus meant that we shouldn't make a big show about praying. It's a private talk, like with a friend. Oh, not showing off so everyone can hear? Yeah, keep reading, Nora. Okay, and when you pray... Do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. Harold, did you hear that? Yeah. 
Wait, which part? God knows the things we need before we ask him. Oh, yeah. That should make talking to him easier, right? Yeah. Look, and Jesus prayed after that to show us all how to pray. Oh, yeah. In this manner. Therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Nora, look, my dad's almost here. Oh, that's okay. I don't need his help anymore. No? Nope. I have to go talk to my friend. But what about your important prayer? Harold. Oh, you have to talk to a friend, to God. Yep. Thanks for your help, Harold. Anytime, Nora. Nora and Harold learned a lot about prayer in those few minutes, didn't they? Did you learn anything new about prayer as you exercised your faith along with them? Well, Jesus gave us a beautiful example of prayer. The next time that you pray, try following the steps that Harold and Nora talked about or reading Jesus' prayer from the book of Matthew. You can pray wherever you are right now. Talk to God as to a friend and keep exercising your faith. I'm Miss Jean, and you've been listening to a mini adventure in Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Visit us at discoverymountain.com to send us a message and to listen to full episodes on demand. Discovery Mountain is a production of The Voice of Prophecy.